okay so now let's begin with the part two so we have already created a validation rule so which essentially states that um, for individual type of id the associated id number and secondary id number has to be same so i want that rule to apply for maybe dependent id as well so now let's see how we can actually tweak the rule so let's remove this false statement and when the statement is actually true the condition in the and that instead of the false statement it should evaluate this if statement so let's again put a and condition here in the if statement so the primary id and secondary id has to be same when the type is dependent id so let's just go again back to the pick list on the screen and see how actually it's being displayed so if i just go back to the screen here under the type you can see that dependent id is there now let's just type it in so that's a dependent id and um, if the expression is not true then it should evaluate to false and the not condition everything just in place okay let's just cancel uh, this record and let's try to create a new record just to validate if our validation rule is exactly working so if we just put the associated id number here let's say 9873 and in secondary id let's put a different number and check for the dependent id and if i try to save it you can see this there's a snag so i'm not able to save um, if the associated id number and secondary id number are different now let's see if we are able to save the record for individual id okay it doesn't allow us to save now let's try to put the equal number in the secondary id as well 9873 and we are able to save the record successfully so validation is rule working fine and let's see if we can change the type here to the dependent id uh, so it should actually allow us to save the record and uh, hence we are success successfully able to save the record so if we go back to the setup and in the validation rule let's just tweak the warning statement that dependent id um, should also be included here the sentence that for both the individual and dependent id the associated id and secondary id has to be same so it just kind of gives a clarity you know when a warning message is displayed uh, that's for which types actually the associated id and secondary id has to be same Okay, so now it perfectly displays for both the individual and dependent type. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.